Well, good noon time, everybody. Obviously, another soggy day out there, and as a result, we're, uh, you know, just about getting saturated. The big concern is, since we expect more rain this week, uh, we're probably going to be in this very floody or flashy situation uh, for uh, quick flooding. Now, here's the big story for us uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. This is Invest 95. Possibly this could become Joyce. Now, it is moving out of the Caribbean into the Gulf waters. Not well organized, no low level circulation just yet. But the computer models, as you can see, are, are all over the map on this thing. So some of them take them to the Florida Panhandle, some of them bring them to the Texas coast. It, it likely would be a minimal tropical storm or maybe a depression, but even whether or not it forms, it's going to bring a lot of rain to wherever it goes. Now there's a very possibility that it will be Texas. Therefore, our rain opportunity is going to continue not only to Wednesday, but to Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we're wet for the entire seven days. So that is Invest 95. That's the only thing we need to worry about. And of course, because we've had already this heavy rain, uh, we may be seeing uh, additional flood problems over the next couple of days. You know, roadways in the city are not so much the problem. It's a lot of people out in ranch country that are gonna have to be dealing with uh, flooded roadways and low-lying areas as well. So watch out for creeks and streams especially as we get closer to the weekend. The heaviest activity has now moved up the coast. That's where they're getting the real heavy stuff. You can notice how here's the city. Much of our area is getting some light rain, but at least it's not enough to overwhelm the storm drains. Latest image right about there, right there at 1209. You can see the south side here, little shower activity over the bay and crossing over to Portland and lighter rain out in uh, western areas of the county. Now, the stationary front and a broad area of low pressure on top of this is what has been causing all the rain. Well, if you can imagine the low pressure going this way, it takes the wind in this direction. That's why some of these computer models take this one north while others bring it this way. My honest opinion, how is that frontal system going to go through? How is that system going to go through that front? big question mark there but at this point in time that's the one we're watching and that will probably continue this is what we can say for sure it will continue our rain chances whether or not it becomes a storm system and uh, more than likely uh, the rain should stay in the upper coast so meanwhile we've got of course the huge problem on the Atlantic seaboard as a category four um, you might see four strengthen up to um, five by tomorrow but then as it moves ashore Friday sunrise you can see it right there so Thursday night things go bad Wilmington to Norfolk really going to have a problems 10 to 20 inches of rain so our forecast looks something like this we're expecting the shower chance to continue with our area right on through the entire week in fact, through the weekend, you may see shower activity, and then there's your seven-day forecast with showers all the way through at least Saturday for another four to six inches of rain total.